Yeah, Disco Hut! <laughs> oh, man. So, if you've got a Pinbox 3000 and you're wondering how can you upgrade the tech within your system, um, we have an answer for you. Uh, and to help me explain that, uh, to do most of the explaining of how that works, this is Katie Wolf. She's a tech educator. She's joining uh, the Cardboard Tech Institute here at the uh, at the, the tech zone, which is right here, uh, to figure out uh, what to do with this. And she's also created a website. I have. Um, I have created a website, theimaginationtoolbox.com, where you can find all kinds of electronics and crafts supplies um, and ideas and tips and tricks, especially for kids and educators. Um, and so we're going to play with some of our supplies today. Awesome. Uh, so you're going to show us how we can make a disco hut. Absolutely. Yeah. So here you'll see the supplies that come in, um, come in the kit, the tech kit. Nice. We have three batteries and battery holders. Mm -hmm. We've got some copper tape, three metal ball bearings, and um, a pile of LEDs. Awesome. Wow, that's great. That's, that's all you need. That's all you going. need. Okay. In fact, that's a lot. We can make three separate circuits with just the supplies. Oh, oh cool. Okay. So let's look at some of these LEDs. Um, LEDs are um, stands for light emitting diodes. And what makes them unique and interesting, oh, here we go, huh. is um, <laughs> How handy. they are a diode, which means they have a positive side and a negative side. And it's really important to keep that in mind. The longer leg is the positive side and the shorter leg is the negative side. Okay. And so when you're creating your circuit, it's important to keep your negative sides and your positive sides in mind because just like a battery has a positive and a negative, mm. our LEDs do as well. So if we take our positive and our negative and we fit it onto our battery, Ooh. we create a circuit. A circuit is like a circle oh, like or a path yeah. for the electricity to follow. So it comes up one side and goes down the other and it keeps going around in a circle. Okay. So that's what we're going to create on our pin box using copper tape. All right, all right, let's yeah. do it. So first thing we should do is decide design-wise where we want the LEDs to go. Um, well, I really like our disco hut. No, right? Okay. I think so we should make another one. Yeah. How about this little guy right there? Okay. Um, and then the way this circuit works is it's called a ball lock, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. So that when the marble hits the hole, it gets stuck there, nice. and because they're metal ball bearings they um, complete the circuit and the electricity can follow. Yeah, and then if you knock it out, then... It turns off. Oh, cool. Okay, okay so nice. it's an interactive target. Let's do one there. And so do I have to do anything in here to disco hut? So we need to have a place for our LED to come up through the playboard because we're going to make our circuit on the back. Alrighty. Bam. Place. Nice. Okay. And then we need a ball lock. Okay. Um, Where do you want to put the ball lock? How about... Here, I'm gonna, so we got a circle one. I wonder if a triangle might be. That sounds might fun. Help. All right, do that here. Blink, slice. Now, I'm not gonna do it too big because I don't want the ball to actually fall through. There we go. Let's see if that works. We'll do a little test first. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, I'll shut that down there. Let's grab one of those works. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's open that up. So usually in a regular pinball factory, um, there's a thing called a rotisserie and that holds the play board, I guess, um, from so you don't smash the electronics on the bottom and you don't smash the cool stuff on the top and it makes it easier to do stuff uh, like this. That would be amazing. We don't have one right now, but I'll be the rotisserie. Awesome. <laughs> Which is Pete. And all right, so we've got now, we have our lock in here. All right, so what's so. important to do is to think, plan our circuit out before we jump in and start putting things together. Okay. Um, you can see over here, we created a circuit um, a little earlier, and what, what we've created is a path for our electricity to follow. So it comes up, and it, when the marble's in here, it jumps across the, the ball bearing, the marble, mm. and it complete, comes down the other side, and it goes through the LED and back to the battery. We need to do the same thing on this side. There you go. So this isn't one continuous piece, right? There's Correct. a break in there. There's a break where the battery pack sits. Okay. It forces the electricity to go through the battery. Or, yeah. Yeah, cool. exactly. All right. How so if this is our LED here, mm -hmm. Right? Remember, we have a positive leg and a negative leg. Yeah. So if we decide we have our positive leg and our negative leg, mm -hmm. okay, 
and this is our ball lock. We need our tape to wrap up and around the front side of our play board so that when the ball sits on it, mm. it creates the circuit, completes the circuit. Okay, yeah, so it's wrapping around. Exactly. So we're, if we have our negative leg, let's say it goes there. Yeah. Okay, and we'll make our little path. This is our copper tape. And we're going to have our positive leg. And it can go like this. And then when we set our LED across, if we have our battery pack in here, it'll complete the circuit. Okay. So let's plan where our battery pack is going to go. Let's see. Would it be... Yeah. Well, it's in line. Maybe that's the easy place. Yeah. So we can put it... In line like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. Or on this side. So we just not have a. Uh, we have a little break. Right. So we need to break our copper tape. Okay. So that the electricity comes from the battery and goes through the circuit and back. Okay. If we put our battery this way, we would have our own little circuit. If you wanted just the light to light up, yeah. you would just create. You could put your battery pack across both leads, and then you could have. A whole number of LEDs that go up that are just on. Oh, like train track style. Right. Okay. So that's called a parallel circuit. Okay. But because we want it to be a ball lock, we need to make sure that we break, um, break our copper tape in the middle. Okay, cool. So let's run our copper tape. Yeah. Can I do one side of it? Sure. There you go. Okay. Um, there's different kinds of copper tape. It's important when you're doing these kind of projects to make sure that you get the kind with conductive adhesive. The oh, adhesive okay. is what makes it sticky. Okay. If you don't have conductive adhesive, then if there's and if you mess up at all and you need to add another piece, you've got to start over. Okay. Which is inconvenient. Okay, so you got the break. So now this yep. one, I'm gonna leave a little extra around. Do you remember how to fold the corner? I. Oh geez. Okay, so you go like that, and then you go backwards. Yep. You fold it up at a 45 degree angle. Okay. You want your corners to be nice and clean and not wrinkled, okay. so that the electricity will flow the best. Okay, so if I did that, that's my, okay, how's that? Good job. Woohoo! Did I get an A? Of course. Oh, yay! Okay. Maybe an A minus. No. You didn't go straight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now when we grab our LED, we're doing a disco hut again, right? Yeah. So when we grab our LED, Remember, we have a positive, neg yeah. positive leg and a negative leg. Our negative leg is short. Okay. So I'm going to make him do a split. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Just like that. And I labeled my side so I know which side goes where. And I can just pop it in. Yeah. Like that. And then we're going to take a little piece of copper tape. Okay. And as long as it's got the conductive adhesive, we can just tape right over the legs to complete our circuit. I, see, I notice you're pushing down pretty hard. I want to make sure that it has good contact between the LED and the copper tape so that the circuit is really solid. If your LEDs flicker, sometimes that means that you're, you don't have good contact. So, I see, yeah, because it's kind of like pulling up. Is that okay? So it's contact on the bottom of the, of the tape. Well, if we have conductive adhesive, then it won't matter because okay. it will conduct Bridge up that. and over it as well as under it. So hopefully, if we've done everything right, and we put our ball in our ball lock. You always want to test. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is why we test our circuits. The ball lock, the, 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 the weird shape maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna steal this battery pack just okay. in case it's the battery pack because we know this one works. Ah, yeah. there we go, it's the battery pack. Okay. So it's always good to test your elements to make sure that they're gonna work. Cool. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And so we're just having some trouble with the, con the connection here. Mm. Oh, it's the, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's flip it over. Okay. And we'll add, we can put the copper tape like that. And hopefully, <gasps> there we go. Hut. Disco hut. That's fun. Okay, so then we got another one there. But well, we took the battery out. Oh, yeah. So we got <laughs> we to gotta fix the battery pack, but we can do that. Okay. So all of the supplies here in the tech kit, you have enough to do three separate circuits. 
on your kit. Okay. And it's important to remember you only want to use one color LED on each circuit because some LEDs don't light up with other colors. So if you're having trouble with your circuit, that could be problem, part of it. But for more tips and tricks, you can check out my website, theimaginationtoolbox.com. Yes. And for any additional electronic supplies for teching out your bin box. Katie, thank you so much for, for helping us check this out and showing me and everybody else out there how you can use some, uh, some simple materials to make some awesome stuff happen. Aww. It was my pleasure. Aww. Pinbox360.